Welcome to part 2 of our Adobe Animate Tools series. Let's begin by setting our stage properties. We can do that under Docs. Here. I'm going to set my stage color to light blue. And change the size to fit to window. To begin with, the Fluid Brush tool is a GPU accelerated tool with a number of different options. Let's pick the Fluid Brush tool and look at the options in the properties. We can make changes to its size, its stability, curve smoothing, the roundness, the angle, the taper, velocity and pressure. Now you can make changes to the velocity and the pressure of your brush tool if you are using a stylus pen and tablet also known as the Wacom. So I'm going to make some changes to the current properties and begin to draw. First let's change the fill to black, increase the stability to 20 and decrease the size to 20 as well. The paint bucket tool will help us in filling our shape with color. So let's pick up the paint bucket tool and go into the two properties. Click on fill and make a choice of color. You can make more advanced choices by clicking on the color picker here and choosing a color from here. So I'm going to go back and choose gray and then just click on my shape. I'm going to rename the layer. I'll name it mountains. And let's do away with the outline. Make sure your selection tool is active. Double click on your shape. Click on the outline once and press delete. You can click on the shape again and look at the options on your right under object and click on smoothen once. Now let's go back to scene 1 and click and drag our shape down a bit. The color tool helps us in choosing colors which you might not find easily among the swatches. Let's demonstrate this. I'm going to create a new layer and rename it ground and I'm going to pick the color tool under windows And under solid color, I'm going to drop down and select linear gradients. So you can make changes to the slides. And next, I'm going to pick the rectangle tool. And draw my rectangle. I'm going to re reduce the size of the artboard a bit to say 50. And since I want the gradient to angle to change, I'll pick my free transform. Click on the shape once, hold shift and rotate 90 degrees and then just resize it.
so we have something like this let's resize the rectangle a bit upward we will now create a sun for our scenery so first I'll create a new layer double click and rename it sun make sure that layer is selected and I'm going to pick the ellipse tool under the rectangle here or the oval tool I'm going to fill in the properties panel change the color to yellow and hold down shift once I draw my sun Another tool I want us to look at is the ink bucket tool, which is beneath the bucket, the paint bucket tool. And what it does is it changes the color of the outline only. So I'm going to go into the properties panel and change the stroke color to orange. And then I'm going to click on our sun. So the effect takes place on the stroke only. We can use the paint brush tool in adding finishing touches to our artwork. To locate the paint brush tool, it's normally under the classic brush tool. But if you can't find it, click on these three dots under your toolbar and locate the paint brush tool here. Click and drag it onto the main two bath menu and drop it. Now select the paint brush tool and let's go into the options. And I like to maintain a stroke size of six and I'm coming down to the width and I'll change the width to width profile one. Then I make sure my mountain layer is selected and I start drawing some lines on the mountain now aside drawing these lines we can also pick stylistic brushes from the brush library and to do that let's go into windows and look for brush library now from the menu let's look for the creative and go to panels and seals and I'm going to select banner 2 for this one so I'm going to double click to activate it so you see it here in the style and before I start drawing I'll create a new layer for that double click and rename it banner Now with that layer selected, I come up here with my paintbrush tool. But first let's look at the width. Let's increase the stroke size to 105. And then draw a straight line here so that you have your banner. So now let's add a title to our stage by using the text tool. But before we go ahead, I would like to resize the banner. So I'm going to select the banner, select the free transform tool, click on my banner and try to extend the width. Now when you try extending it, you see the other side, the left side is getting out of the stage. So to solve that, I'm going to change the anchor point, which is this white point, to the left. And then come back and extend my banner. Now I'm going to create a new layer. 
name it title and then I'll pick my text tool go into its properties and select a font style I prefer Montserrat bold text color I think black is okay and then I'll start typing and if my text is not big enough for me I can just come back here and increase the size and reposition it on the banner I'm going to add some finishing touches to our artwork using some of the tools we've learned so far So we are done with the detail. The reason why we placed each and every item on a separate layer is for us to be able to animate these things individually. I will leave the project file in the link in the description below so that you can follow in my next tutorial on how to animate in various ways. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can leave your comments and suggestions in the comment section make sure you like and subscribe till i see you in the next tutorial enjoy the rest of the day